as technology advances, all the appliances we're using are getting smarter. We expect over 13 billion connected devices to be in use by 2025. That's over six devices for every household on the planet. I'm here with our lead analyst, James Moore, to discuss what those devices are and what that means for the future of the smart home. So James, we've just launched a new report on this market. Could you take us through the key takeaways? One of the biggest things that we noticed is that although devices in the home are becoming smarter, adoption is focused on a few key verticals. We look very specifically at different types of devices in the report because there are different drivers that are affecting how fast things are growing. For example, in the smart meters market, we note that outside of some European countries within the EU, the lack of regulated support for the rollout of smart meters means that it's very, very slow um, because consumers aren't adopting them on their own so much. Um, but that's not really a concern for, say, the smart light bulbs market or the smart locks market. The report looks at what those different drivers are and how it can work together to create a smart home. The smart home as a unified concept isn't something that's really happening quite yet. So we look at the partnerships that are needed for that dream to become a reality. So how do we see those smart devices actually getting into people's homes and people using them? It will mostly be by hardware manufacturers making devices smart by default. It's not like you'll see a dishwasher advertised that's integrated with Alexa and immediately rush out and buy it because it's connected but when you have most dishwashers that you are looking to buy anyway integrated with a voice assistant then you'll probably get one with a voice assistant and our report details when we think that inflection point will be and our forecasts go into detail on when it will happen for each specific device. The biggest exception to that is in the entertainment space where you will get a new TV or a new games console or a new speaker because of these features because voice assistants in particular have become an expected part of the user experience. And one of the keys to driving it forward in other verticals is making that user experience and that interaction with the technology an expectation, which will take time in other places, but is already there for the entertainment industry. So it really appears that the smart home, or the true smart home is, is some way off. Um, how does the report position um, the current device manufacturers, how will they accelerate this trend? Mostly by diversifying their portfolio. Uh, we note that although a general adoption is low, we, we see several markets and several areas where individual users will buy several different types of devices. So if, if manufacturers can get them on board with one particular type of device, they can then continue monetizing that user through other types of device or even more of the same device. For, this is most obvious with smart light bulbs, for example. We expect an average of seven smart light bulbs to be active in a house by 2025 um, for those that use it. Um, so if you can get people to repeat buy things, then you can get more value out of them without necessarily expanding the market. And the easiest way to do that is by offering more products within your own range. Although, that being said, the report notes that smart homes that are under the control of a specific brand, if you like, or a single brand home, aren't going to be that common because you've got different devices that can integrate between devices and become that interface that you use to interact with the smart home as a whole, regardless of the brand. And the key we think for that is where we think that interface is going to be and how those different devices are managed. That interface is the key and we outline several different possibilities for that in the report and ways that vendors can move their market forward by interacting with those types of interfaces. Thank you James, very interesting. Our new report on smart home devices is now available for subscribers to download from the website or it can be purchased separately from Juniper Research. As usual, please get in touch if you wish to discuss further or even chat to the author himself. Many thanks. Goodbye.